here, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with the Neverfull MM from Louis Vuitton unboxing video. I'm super duper excited for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's just get right into it. I really miss you guys. I know I haven't made videos in so long and I'm super excited about making this. Sitting back down here makes me feel like I could cry because I miss you guys so much. So I hope you guys are doing well, sending good vibes your way. With this bag, there has been a lot of experiences. So this is just the bag. I posted an Instagram picture if you guys want to follow me on Instagram. Definitely should. Allie dot for real. I changed my Instagram name. Got this bag. Um, it's the Neverfull MM MM. And on my birthday, I got a Louis Vuitton Speedy 35. Um, I carried that around for not even a day. And it just felt like it was really big for me and hurt my wrist. So I was watching a lot of videos on YouTube, hence of why I wanted to film this. And I felt like I needed the bandolier so I went back and maybe in a smaller version so I went back and felt like if I'm gonna have the speedy I definitely want the bandolier that or the Neverfull MM unfortunately the factories are have been closed down for a month and they're not really making any bags and when they get bags in it's like raindrops so they never didn't have any Neverfulls and they had the speedy 30 with the bandolier but it wasn't in the monogrammed so I ended up really liking that in the store but when I got it home I wasn't completely satisfied because I really wanted the monogrammed so I went back the next day and I decided to go to Saks at Louis, Louis Vuitton at Saks and they, that's the one across the street because I've been going to the store um, and I just found the monogrammed um, Speedy 25 with the Vandalier and I really really liked it and felt really satisfied with that because it was the monogrammed and it had the Vandalier and I felt really satisfied with it but the catch was I couldn't take back the bag that I had because it would be final sale and Indecisive Alley that would not be a good idea so I went back to the Louis Vuitton store hoping maybe they got something in stock or I could take back the bag and then go buy the other one or something like that um, so I went back to the Louis Vuitton store and I was checking out the bags and stuff like that and I was talking to them about what was going on and they're like, well, let's see, we just got a shipment in, let's go see if we got anything in. Um, I asked them if they had the Speedy 25 with the Vandalier or the Neverfull MM. Um, they said they didn't have either one, so I was like, what should I do? Because I was thinking about getting one shipped to me from another store because um, that was the only option at this point. Um, I started looking at the Neverfull MM and really, really fell in love with it that day when I was in the store because before when I did, I didn't really get to play around with it, cinch in the side, so I was doing that with the little model version that they had there and I fell in love with it. So I was like, you know what, never mind the Speedy. I am fully all Neverfull. Like, I really loved the way that I was able to carry it on my arm and carry it on my shoulder because I'm really like a throw on the shoulder type girl. So sometimes when I'm out shopping, it gets tired on my arm so I really fell in love with the Neverfull MM. Mind you they didn't really have any in stock so the manager was so nice he was helping me at this point because he felt really bad that they don't really have any bags or anything that would satisfy me. He wants to make sure that I was completely satisfied so he went back and checked out their new shipment to see if they got anything in. Ah, this is the time that I freaked out literally freaked out when he pulled out the Neverfull MM with the monogram unboxing video mind you sorry for the really long story but here it is so this is the box ah, super exciting unraveling the rib literally a second birthday literally made my day so if you guys want nice management go to Louis Vuitton at Lennox so yeah here's the box opening it up tissue paper I can't believe I'm filming this video so this is the sat like little satchel it comes in so in love this is gonna go down to my children this bag you guys Gotta know, I'm so in love. Ah! This is the bag, you guys! Oh my gosh, never full MM. The reason why I chose the MM is because I feel like it's a perfect size for me. I can put enough in it, but then not feel overwhelmed by bag. There's a GM and then a PM. So the PM's smaller and then the GM's bigger. So I got the one right in the middle. So this has a little clamp. Um, the Speedy did have a locking key, which I really liked, but this one, I love how versatile it is. Super big. It has a pocket inside. Let's stand it up. This is what it looks like. Ah, so freaking in love. Ah, can hold it down like this on my shoulder in front of me. And guys, guess what? It also comes with a little wristlet. Ah, so in love. 
This is like another purse basically. I can bring this in if I just need to go get gas, don't need to bring my whole person, or if I'm just going out for the night and don't want to carry so much. Literally, this is perfect for me. Love this so much. The reason why I did want the monogram is because I just feel like this is signature Louis Vuitton, even though I ended up finding out that the checkered print was the original, but I just really love the LV. I don't know why. Plus, I love how the leather turns. I know a lot of people are in between with that. They like the leather if they don't like the leather, but I really like how it changes colors. So yeah, also this is really deep, and I love how it says Louis Vuitton inside there. And then also I love how the sides can cinch in. So you can make it into a totally different bag. You can cinch in one side, you can cinch in both sides. Literally so freaking in love with this bag and I'm so happy that they had it. So there's just one side cinched in. Let me cinch in the other one. Obviously it's going to go ahead and get more um, like comfortable because it has been in the box. This is the first time I'm touching it since at the store. So that's what it looks like um, cinched in. Oh shoot. That's what it looks like cinched in. I really love it that way to you guys because then that makes it into more like an evening bag. Like it makes it smaller. I can hold it here and I just I'm so freaking in love with this bag, you guys. I've been watching all these organization videos on YouTube about how to organize it, so I might get an organizer, or I might not. Um, but there will be a What's in My Purse coming soon, so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, be sure to subscribe if you guys have not already. Be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. Super duper in love with this purse. I'm so happy that they ended up having the one that I really, really, really wanted. I feel so happy, and I, like, I feel like I could cry. I'm so in love with it, and I love how versatile it is and how many different bags you can make it into. It's super duper cute, so that's what it looks like. It's been in the box, so... Yeah, but it came straight from Paris, you guys. That smell of newness literally makes me want to cry. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. If you did, definitely go right ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Um, also, if you guys want to see more videos like this, this is my first ever unboxing video. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, comment down below. Be sure to subscribe. Um, follow me on live.me, Ashley and I, my sister. Um, stream every single night so if you guys want to see some good workout tips then go ahead and follow us on there it's Allie and Ashley so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys have any video requests be sure to post those down below I will see you guys in my next video and I love you guys millions kisses